Awesome little um, pentatonic jam for you in here. A lot of staccato notes going on up in here. Some guitar tricks I'm going to show you. You are going to love this. Super fun to play. Hops all around, all around the neck. And um, I think you're going to like it a lot. Anyway, I am Finbar of Finbar Bass. All right, so if you haven't clicked on the link right down there in the YouTube text box, one of those links is going to bring you to uh, some lessons that aren't on uh, YouTube at all. You can only get it by clicking that link right down there. There's a beginner lesson, a um, intermediate lesson, advanced lesson, so somebody for everybody. So if you haven't clicked on that, click on that. Also down there, there is a link um, that'll send you over to my Epic Beginner Bass uh, DVD set that I'm really excited about. Um, that's all complete, it's up there, it's good. So if you, you know, this is, you're very much a beginner on the bass, um, you're gonna love it. If you've been playing for a while, um, there's some great stuff in there for you too. So definitely check those out. All right, so what we got going on there, Remember the ghost notes in this, they're important. They make it sound kind of cool and funky and kind of creeping, right? So really you're just doing this, um, this little uh, chromatic run here. You're going from five to four to three, which this is in G by the way, so that's... I should show you actually the, uh, the pentatonic scale right here. in that uh, flat five which is right here and right here which is the uh, makes it the blues scale so where we're starting from right here is we're actually not starting from the G which I know is odd but you're gonna go down five four three but after each hit here right so I got a pluck and I'm gonna pluck it again but without uh, applying pressure on my finger. So that's like a, it's like a little uh, chuck or a ghost note. See? Just like that. And then you're gonna be down here on um, first and then third fret of the A, first and then third fret of the E. <clears throat> and then you got two hits on the open D. Third fret of the D and then two on the fifth fret, which is the octave of our root note. So we got. Just like that. And actually, after you hit that third fret here, hit a ghost note. Right? And here, if you can, if you can um, fit in a little vibrato on that third fret, it makes it sound cool and kind of menacing. Right, just like that. And then you're you're gonna slide up, and I'm gonna change the angle of the camera. So you're gonna slide up to the eighth fret of the A string, hit it twice, then hit this fifth fret of the A string twice. Right, and then you can hit this eighth and fifth fret of the uh, D string. You can hit it twice like that or once. So you got and then what you're going to do is a little trill here. You're going to hit the 5th fret of the G string, hammer on to the 7th fret. So that's just one pluck. This finger's coming down percussively and hitting this note, doing the uh, all the work for me. So 5th to 7th to 5th. So you got a hammer on and a pull off, which is a trill. And then you're going to hit your pinky down on the 8th fret of the D string. All right, so if I play that all together slow, And you're back down on this 5th fret of the D string. And you're going to slide it to the 10th fret of the uh, D string. So you got... And then uh, to the 12th fret, if you could vibrato those. And then you're going to hit on that, um, which is a G right here, our root note, 10th fret of the A string. Just like that, to end that phrase. So you got... Just like that. 
And then this is the <clears throat> an interesting part right here. You're going to be on the pre-position, your finger on the 12th fret of the G string. And then you're going to hit it once and then pull off. So you have to pre-position both of your fingers here. This is the 10th fret of the G and the 12th fret, obviously. And you're going to go, right? So you got, right? A very guitar-y type thing to do. So you're going 12th to the 10th with a pull off and then you're hitting the 12th fret of the D string. And then you're going to hit that like a chord, right? So you're, if I could show you what my finger is doing, my right hand right here. Make sure you sound that chord out and then you're going to slide that chord up so you have your um, finger on the um, 17th and the 15th fret. 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17th fret right here of the D and the 15th fret of the uh, G. So you got just like that. And there you're actually going to be hitting the 17th fret of the, um, of the D string twice. Which again is our root note. And then right at the end, right at the end, just for cute sake, you're going to hit the 21st fret right here. If you have these frets, <laughs> if you have a, a scale of a um, bass that's this long, you're going to hit that 21st fret of the G string, right? 23rd and then 24th, right? So this is the 12th fret. This is the 24th fret. So that makes that also a G, a root note. And then you can come back down and do a little... You can hit these octaves here, which is the third fret. This is our root note again. Third fret of the um, E string and fifth fret of the D right here. And you could either hit that just the octaves or you can hit this note here, the third fret of the A in with that. Or you could just make it a power chord, which would be the third fret of the E, fifth fret of the A, and fifth fret of the D. Just like that. All right, thank you so much for listening. That was a lot of fun. Anyway, I am Finbar, Finbar Bass. Don't forget to click in the YouTube text box right down there. You can uh, check out my um, Epic Beginner Bass DVD course, five DVDs, all for you. Switch on over to Amazon by clicking that link. Check out the, uh, the reviews. Um, you could also um, subscribe to Finbar Bass. There's another clicker actually in the YouTube text box right down there too that has those lessons. Don't forget about those. Um, and as I said, if you want to subscribe to Finbar Bass, got lots more of these videos coming all the time, and you will know when they hit. Anyway, thank you so much for listening. Have fun with that one, yo.